Hi, this is Mark Neese with Sync Lab Media, and we're excited to have a conversation today with Rob Bliss with Smart Office. Thank you for being in the studio this morning. We appreciate you dropping by. Thanks a lot, Mark. It's really exciting to be here. So um, we're just going to have a casual conversation today. It's like having a one-to-one, -one, except it's going to be me asking you the questions that we would normally, things we would normally talk about in a one-on-one. -on -one. Does that sound okay? That sounds awesome. Of course, you can see from my badge here, I love networking. Right. And, ne and there's nothing better than having a one-on-one -on -one where we get a chance to get to know one another. Absolutely. And we recently had that opportunity to visit your office. Yes. One of the really cool things that Rob does, if you don't know, and I can't imagine how anyone would not know, <laughs> <laughs> But one of the things that Rob does that's really cool is when you go to his office to have a one-on-one, -on -one, not only does he have your name up on the marquee when you walk <laughs> into the office, but in his office, and your new office is going to be even more spectacular, Yes, yes. I, I have to come back and see the new office. Yeah, absolutely. But he has a library, and not just a little like one bookshelf, li I mean your office is a library. Yeah, that was the, you know, uh, it was really exciting that when I came up with the concept Rob's Library was, it's, I love to read. Mm -hmm. and, and then I saw a, a way of always wanting to give back to, to the community and to help my fellow networkers. And, you know, to learn, there's so much to learn nowadays, Mark, you know, mm -hmm. the, you know, things changing all the time and networking, you know, my mission this year was to become a better networker. So, you know, just bringing people in and sharing books with them, it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. So uh, I am still, I haven't finished the book that you gave me. Okay. Uh, but I plan on finishing it this next weekend. Wow, that's fast. No. Because I, well, I was already reading another book. Okay. And so I wanted to make sure that I finished that one first. Sure. I, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not the type of person that can be reading like three, three books, books at, at a time, time. Right. I need to focus right. on one, right. and, you know, or I won't finish any of them. Exactly. You know? um, but uh, it's really good so far. Well, good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a. Um, it's interesting because uh, I did a presentation a couple of years for the, I, I should give some background. So it was written by a Rotarian and it incorporates the four way test into business, actual real world business practices right. and things that people can do to, uh, um, to integrate the four way test in their every way, everyday way of doing business. So for the audience, that's right. what the book is about. And I'm a Rotarian. I gave us a, a presentation uh, a couple of years ago that uh, actually talked about the four-way test as, as a way of doing business. Yeah, so that was very interesting to be re starting the book now and kind of like seeing some of the same things in there. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, the matter of fact, just uh, this morning, I went to the uh, Farmer's Branch Rotary Club, uh, which I'm a member of, and uh, I brought that book from, from Rob's library. And because we do a, uh, uh, every quarter, we, we do a book. And mm -hmm. so I presented to the uh, group today uh, the... Um, uh, the trusted way and yeah they did, gave us the two thumbs up so we're going to order that and so we're going to start in a couple of weeks uh, going over the uh, uh, the trusted way awesome good deal so so uh, your business I mean part of a one-on-one -on -one is mm -hmm. actually learning about what you do I have the privilege of already kind of knowing what you do <laughs> but we <laughs> but we want the rest of the audience to know that as well so smart office so why what led you to start a business uh, offering those services to other businesses? I mean, did, and I'd like to know kind of, kind of why you chose that as a path. Well, uh, I started in the industry, way, it goes way, way back. 1983 okay. is when I started getting into the telecom uh, business. And uh, that was 1983 was a big year because uh, the federal courts uh, broke up AT&T. And before, back in those days, you only could buy, uh, get a phone or your phone lines from AT&T, and that was the single source. Well, they broke up the Bell Company, and I went to work for a company selling phone systems, and mm. I've been doing it ever since. I started Smart Office uh, 12 years ago. Uh, I wanted to do my own thing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, really uh, I've enjoyed it because I love, um, my market is small business owners. You know, five phones to 75 phones. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of a market that's overlooked um, you know, the kind of the big companies get all the bells and whistles, so to speak, get all the attention, and the small business owner, you know, is kind of left to the side. And so I really had a passion being a small business owner myself. So I wanted to really focus on that segment of the market 
and really give them top level uh, uh, phone system. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure uh, as you know, I've, I've been in media production for 30 years. <laughs> I know what's changed in that industry. Yeah. So now it's a lot of like VOIP and, and kind of cloud solutions and things like that as well. But you, you offer all of those opportunities for people, right? Yeah, that is correct. Yeah, I mean, yeah. uh, VO, VOIP or, uh, you know, is the big thing. You know, we moved uh, the phone system from your closet to the cloud. Uh, and that's great because it gives you failover redundancy so that your phone system will never die, even if your internet goes out. Um, just some of the neat features. I think one of my favorite features is that we can turn your personal cell phone into your business phone. Oh, that's cool. And so that way that you can still, when you're out of the office, you can still be com you know, connected to your office. You can dial uh, your business partners or customers and they think it's coming from your business line and not your personal cell phone number. That's really cool. Yeah. Particularly a lot of small business owners could use something like that. You know? You know, absolutely, absolutely. I think that's probably my num uh, the number one uh, feature that people really do like, and it makes them make that change from the old uh, phone system to the VoIP. Actually, I was, you know, I was just uh, uh, a business networking group that I run on Tuesday mornings. Um, uh, I was speaking with someone after the meeting who's a family attorney. And we were talking specifically about that issue because she was going to have to send me her personal cell phone number because, she, as she put it, my clients don't have boundaries. So, I, <laughs> you know, so that type of solution would be, you know, like a small law firm. That yes. would be perfect for them because then they could have, you know, like a, you know, a law firm number that's right. specific to them, like a direct line, but exactly. it's, it's not their cell phone. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they can have then after hours, they can have their voicemail connected there. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and, and uh, yeah, so it really is very helpful for the small business owner. That's awesome. Yeah. So uh, I guess as kind of a, a closing question, what does Rob enjoy? I mean, like, what's uh, what are a couple of your like favorite things to do, like hobbies or uh, places you like to go? Tell us a little bit okay. something about like Rob outside of work. Okay, Rob outside of work. That's hard to uh, imagine because it's uh, my mission is twenty four seven three sixty five. Right, <laughs> right. And you can relate to that. So if Mark. you're gonna take if you're gonna <laughs> take the time and make a plan to take time off, what is Rob yeah. doing? No, I mean, I really do. I do have a, a life uh, outside the office. Uh, um, I, I like to travel. I have timeshare. Uh, I have four weeks of timeshare, so I get to uh, travel. Uh, my wife and I, uh, we go to uh, California, San Diego area. We, go to, we love Scottsdale, Colorado. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, what, what's great about timeshare, you can go anywhere. Yeah. Um, something fun and unique that we do is we, uh, we curl in, we, we are in a, curling league in uh, Texas in Texas okay and so we uh, <laughs> we curl uh, once uh, once a week and it's kind of neat now because the Winter Olympics is just a couple of weeks away and yeah. that's one of the most popular events yeah. on the Winter Olympics so we have a fun time curling I'm also a tennis player and a golfer um, love to cook uh, and um, again my passion is reading mm -hmm. I, I, I love to read uh, there's just so much knowledge out there and I want to I, I want to keep on learning that's awesome um, and I would be remiss if I didn't uh, point out the fact that uh, one of the things you do for the networking community here locally is that you always try to offer like different types of events and, and value, value add events and, mm -hmm. and things like that. So I know that you're um, actually I'm attending uh, the first one, but like one of the things that you're doing on like a quarterly basis is hosting like a LinkedIn workshop and bringing in like different experts and things. I mean, like I think the one coming up, you have somebody that's going to join from Australia that's a, a LinkedIn expert. Right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it, this is a lot of fun for us because we, again, it's uh, uh, Cheryl Powers is, uh, uh, is my partner on putting on these uh, uh, events. And we just felt that LinkedIn is so important uh, and people are confused about, about it. They don't know where to get started. They don't know how to use it and therefore they don't use it. And we're, we're trying to uh, really encourage our community is, is to have this event so that they can get started on making LinkedIn a powerful lead generator for their business. That's really awesome. I know a lot of people will get a lot out of that. I'm looking forward to it because there's always, particularly when you're bringing in people that are that diverse of even like being on a different continent, I mean, they're going to have insight that 
you know, a lot of people haven't thought about before. And so, you know, even though we use LinkedIn extensively for our business and encourage people to use it and put video on it and, you know, all right. these other types of content. Right. right. Uh, but uh, I always learn something, you know, and so I think it's, uh, it's, it's really valuable and I appreciate you doing that kind of for the local, like, business community, yeah, you know, and, and helping people get educated about that. So. Yeah, it's going to be, um, I think we've got over 35 people registered, so we're really excited about that. But again, I, I'm, I, I'm still kind of a novice on LinkedIn myself, even though I'm on it every single day. But there's, it, it's such a vast platform. There's so many things that it can do. Mm -hmm. And I'm just excited, again, to, to learn for myself. But then I'd be able to pass that on to small b business owners because, again, it can be a part of their marketing mm -hmm. uh, approach. So. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Well, I again, I appreciate you coming by the studio this morning. It's been great to have another conversation. I know we cheated a little bit because we had a <laughs> meeting ahead of time at your office, but uh, but uh, really glad you had an op uh, that you uh, took the took the time to come by and have a conversation. And, and I hope that people watching out there, when they watch it, will uh, will get something from it and uh, also learn a little bit more about you and maybe reach out to you. Well, so. Tell people where they can find you. Well, it's uh, uh, my website is www.smartofficeusa.com. Uh, that, and we've got a great website up there for you to, to see how VoIP can uh, help your business. And again, I want to thank you, Mark, uh, for inviting me here. It's, it's great to be in your professional studio here and to learn more about Sync Lab Media and how, what you guys do at, uh, for bringing video to, uh, to businesses out there, which video, again, is so important nowadays. Mm -hmm. And what, 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 uh, with what you and Scott are doing is tremendous, and, and, and the, um, the studio here is fabulous. I've really enjoyed the time here. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. So we'll see you next time when we have our next one-to-one -one conversation with another local business owner. Um, and it's a surprise until then. So the next time that you see us logging on, uh, make sure you pay attention. We'll see you next time.